When all the sand has fallen to the bottom, one hour will be up. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Hmm. They they did it. I I can I'm gonna wait until they drop the boo saga before I like upload all of my reactions. But I do go live when they drop these trailers. I just want you guys to know that we we predicted this, guys. We were here like a week ago calling this out. Um, I told you guys that the roster is almost you know predictable. But them even showing certain characters in this trailer just proves what we've been saying is true all along. One, the roster is not 164, and I'm standing on GT is going to be in the game base roster. But I'm, I'm just being honest, bro. This if they're saying this is a Tenkaichi series, they have they have to be true to the series. And there's certain things that they got to do in order to be true. Just got to call it how it is. Forgive me for not having like um that giant roster like I usually do. I don't. It is tiring to make that roster over and over again. I don't know where my old files went, but. I can just use my old videos since we did make it. We kind of predicted everybody. So they didn't show Future Gohan. Future Gohan as well as like uh, the androids. I only put them in there because I know they were going to show them. Just because they are included in that saga. King Code and Mecha Frieza we got right because they are being true to the Budokai series. Like this, they actually showed up in the story. But there's one key thing before I move on that I want you guys to pay attention to. Is that this King Cold? This King Cold is actually the King Cold from Dragon Ball Super. And then right here, this must be his uh, quick slash attack, like a dash attack, because look, it switches. So if you guys can catch the transition, it goes from it goes from King Cold's ultimate maybe. Right here, and then Frieza, yeah, he comes out. But they did this clean transition. To where they instantly shown like sword trunks doing his super attack so they they merged the two if you guys were confused on that yeah king code on budokai tenkaichi 3 looks like this he's more of a uh darker purple with like a, a burgundy cape um but then if you look at the dragon ball super i don't know if you guys can see it as well i'm trying to get it to pop up on the left side so you know who also appears in this movie king vegeta so I feel like with this uh, reference to the Dragon Ball Super, this reference to the Dragon Ball Super King Code, oh God, they have to be like hinting at more with this arc, with the Brawling movie being included, right? It was canon for him to appear during this part of the timeline, but it's just crazy that they're using the Dragon Ball Super version of King Cole. I did also predict the Boo Saga. Now, if I go over here, the next chance that we can see another trailer for this game is going to be at Gamescom. Yeah, at 4 a.m. PST, Gamescom is going to start off with Dragon Ball Super being the initial, um, like the start off for Gamescom. So they might drop a new trailer. Actually, they will drop a new trailer at 4 a.m. on Tuesday. And then on August 21st, at the X uh, at the Xbox Gamecom, um, it's like the developer sit down part where they go over more in depth. Sparking Zero appears again, so I think this one is at six, yeah, yeah, six a.m., nine a.m. Eastern, four a.m. starting showcase, which they might show the Boo trailer, or we have. Um, I feel like they're also going to go over different modes that we didn't get to see. This game, we only seen PvP, but Tenkaichi is more than that. There's the tournaments mode, there's the story mode, there's the new custom what if battle mode that they have. So I feel like they are, since we're getting closer to the release and they haven't even shown us any of that yet, they might end up sitting down, you know, we might get to see the intro uh, to the game. Uh, we might get to see like the the title menu and how you can navigate through the menu to choose like maybe the official character roster i don't know if they're going to show that yet because they're still using this panel as a as a mind game for players or for people who are believing that this is the character roster right here they think that this is everybody that's going to be in the game it's not it's not i feel like the boo saga can even be paired up with like the what if characters that they had 
Um, so we might get to see Bardock being showcased. Uh, we might get to see others. But the Boo Saga is pretty lengthy, so it might just be its standalone trailer. So if you go over, the Boo Saga trailer is going to show Super Boo, Super Boo Gotenks absorbed, Super Boo Gohan absorbed, Kid Boo, Evil Boo. Trust me, we're getting Evil Boo. If we got, uh, if we got fucking Cell Jr. and King Cold and Mecha Freezer. Frieza, we're getting Evil Boo. We're getting Oob in the Z version for sure. We're getting Supreme Kai and Kabito Kai. Guaranteed, I, I bro, I'm promising you guys we're getting these characters. Babidi is going to be in there. Ultimate Gohan. And then I forgot to include Great Saiyan Woman. Um Gohan Adult Super Saiyan 2 and Great Saiyan Men. There is 34 slots left, right? If you count all of these, there's 34. Out of the 34, you're going to minus 13 from the Boo Saga. Trust me, it's going to be all those characters. So minus 13, it leaves you with 21 slots left. These 21 slots um, are not including the bonus character. I don't think they're going, they don't even have a slot for the bonus character for this. That might be like an after reveal when the game's um, about to drop. Since people are saying that this game is super focused, I'm going to give super characters priority out of these 21 slots. That's going to be um, 11 characters. And these 11 are uh, Valdos, Champa, Kaba, Kaba Super Saiyan 2. I'm only saying that because they only gave Khalifa her Super Saiyan 2 form. And people are saying like they're only adding, you know, the, the slots are already kind of covering her up so it can't really reach to her. So I'm saying like at least they'll give him one form and if any, it'll be Super Saiyan 2. Botamo, Magetta, and Frost, final form. I want to say, fuck it, they're going to they're gonna put in uh, Frost, his first form and his final form because I feel like this is a Tinkaichi game so they need to include him getting a transformation some sort of transformation as well since he is like that Frieza race even cooler would get one once he would come in the game but yeah I feel like they won't just hoe him and just give him one form so God of Destruction Topo Sionel which is or Pionel one of the Namekians and Elaza's first form which is that one robot that I cannot pronounce his name for the love of my life but this robot would basically transform into Anilaza with the help of Dr. Pepperoni, so that can kind of be like the cutscene or whatever. But I don't think they're just going to put Anilaza as a standalone character. I feel like they would perfectly pair Magetta with another robot if they add another universal tournament of power fighter, you know. So it would, um, because this game is super focused, I feel like they need to include other super tournament of power characters in the game, and this would be a perfect way to do it. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, an additional 11 characters from the super roster that would be subtracted from the remaining 21 slots left. That leaves us with 10 slots, right? Out of the 10, 7 of those slots I'm going to say are from the OG Dragon Ball with a limited mindset. Trust me, I want everybody like Kid, Kid Chi Chi, but there's people that are going to attack me in the comments about, oh, there's not enough characters, you know, there's 164 slots only. So I'm, I'm going to approach it with that mindset to show them that it's not going to be 164. Out of those seven OG characters, it's going to be Kid Goku, uh, Kid Goku Grade 8, Grandpa Gohan, Cyborg Tao and General Tao. I'm saying Cyborg Tao because they made Mecha Frieza make it. So I feel like they're also going to give that honor to uh, Tao as well. Uh, Demon King Piccolo and General Blue because the voice actor of Krillin stated that he voice acted three characters. And he is the voice actor of Krillin, the General Blue guy, and then there's someone else that I can't think of. But he said three characters, so at least like th there's for sure confirmation that the red ribbon army is in the game because even the marketing manager brought it up that you can go against most of the red ribbon characters the last three slots you guys already know it
and the only confirmation we have uh, for Brawly Z is that demon or the devil soundtrack that you can choose in the Dragon Ball Z Sparking game. Um, I don't see why they would throw that in there with no reference to Z Brawly being in the game at all. It would be stupid. Another stupid thing is that why would they... Because people would say they aren't going to put movies in the game. They already broke that rule. Because Bardock... And this is Bardock from... The movie Bardock. Bardock and Brawly are always in these games. So if you are saying that it's not going to make it, you are not, you don't play Dragon Ball Z games. I'm standing on this prediction. I can guarantee you guys can come back to this video and those are the last slots. And it's crazy because like it's still, I feel like doesn't represent all of Super or even like the Super that they shown us or even like the Tournament of Power. That's so much uh, room for characters that they can do for this game. It doesn't make the base roster fit you know um you have king vegeta or you have bardock in the game but they're not even including like the grade eight forms but i'm trying to tell you guys this is a series all of tinkaichi games every saiyan that had their grade eight tail had the capability of turning into grade eight we have still not seen any night maps yet because they're probably hiding that feature kid gohan I didn't even include his grade 8 form, but his grade 8 form is canon, just like Kid Goku grade 8. But there's not enough, there's not enough slots in order for them to show to show this. You know, Nappa, Raditz, they also have the ability to go grade 8 in the Tinkaichi series. I'm telling you guys, they're not showing everybody, and they're also keeping a lot of things hidden. Um, this is including GT. People are saying the game is only ranging from Z to Super, but we have OG, right? We have movie characters in the game, right? So why would they just kick out GT when GT was a core, like a core part of the series for all of the, the I think Budokai 3 had it and then uh, Tenkaichi 2 and 3 for sure had it. So it's like, why would they all of a sudden put this behind a paywall? There are people now I just kind of wanted to throw those predictions out there, but uh, I'm going to end the video with some arguments that people would state that would kind of try to counter against what I'm saying in this video. For one, uh, there's no proof of GT other than the premiere trailer that we got that showed the PS3 version or the PS2 version of Budokai Tenkaichi 3. It showed like the, the, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, right? Yeah, the roster will have GT. If you guys watch this video, in that video I talk about how um, the voice actor of Goku. Do I talk about it in this? Yeah, yeah, right here. The voice actor of Goku even states. Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 3. God Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 3. God mode right here, God mode, and it's all real subtle, different things, you know, and so Damon has just been on top of just keeping all my references, everything in line. So look, they showed Goku Super Saiyan 4, they showed this in the premiere trailer, so, so, and they also had Sean state that he did voice recordings for this form. This is a core, this is like core to the series, it's iconic, it's like as iconic as transforming into Great Ape at nighttime. Another argument they said was DLC exists nowadays, you know, we're living in modern gaming, companies are going to add DLCs no matter what. I'm not against the fact that DLC for sure is going to be for this game, it's, it's, they're, they're going to milk the shit out of it, but I'm still, I'm just arguing that they're not going to just milk the shit out of it without a moral compass you know they're not going to morally forget about why are they making this game i think their focus with dlc after they give us daima and heroes would probably focus more on super and movies i think yeah and then after that like they can definitely expand um you know into the i don't know what they can do xenoverse it's okay to have high expectations Sometimes it's not, but don't have like such low expectations for this. That's why Elden Ring exists. That's why Botter Gates exist. You know, if you guys have looked at my channel, I'm going to my lives. You can see that we've been live streaming since since they announced this game. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just type them down in the comments below. Um, I'm willing to talk and, you know, I am open to criticism, but at the same time, we're calling this. We're calling this. And I'm standing on that GT's in the base roster. 
but like always you guys be safe keep up the grind i'll see you guys next time and peace Ooh.